Hello, Pain Free for Life members. This is Dr. Rob Van Bergen, and I'd like to welcome you back to another Monday 10 minute training session. Today, I'm going to be talking all about how to magnetize water with pulsed electromagnetic fields. I'll even show you how we do it with our Qi Wave PEMF pads and our Via Qi as well. But first off, what is magnetizing water with PEMFs and what benefits can it offer? Now, PEMFs have an effect on the water inside our bodies. So when we treat ourselves with PEMFs, they are actually affecting the water there. But they also can affect the water we drink that has been magnetically treated. So PEMF therapy can help energize, oxygenate, alkalize, and lower the surface tension of water, making it more healthy and hydrating. And since our bodies are mostly water, PEMS will improve the transfer of essential elements and nutrients to the cells. This will improve energy production in the cells and help to better facilitate waste removal out of the cells and the body. Now, our bodies require the essential elements, right? Food, water, sunlight, oxygen, sleep, exercise, and the Earth's electromagnetic field in order to heal itself and to be at its best. Research suggests that treating drinking water with PEMFs is actually going to positively alter the molecular composition of that water, making it more readily absorbed by the body and having positive therapeutic effects. Studies have shown a significant reduction in plaque on the teeth, after the use of magnetically treated water as opposed to normal drinking water. And Eastern European and Chinese researchers have found that magnetically treated water may help to dissolve stones in the urinary and biliary tracts, including kidney stones and gallstones. Now, improvements in gastrointestinal health, hypertension, and skin issues are just a few other research benefits too. So it's not like this, as, as weird as it may seem, it's not like it's not grounded in science with a fair bit of research behind it. So this all of a side, magnetizing water with PEMFs just seems to be a great general wellness booster. But what about frequencies? Do we care about what frequencies we use? Some PEMF devices don't. They just hit you with PEMFs and you don't have a choice. But what about them? Do frequencies have an effect? So beyond the general health benefits of drinking magnetized water, we can also look to filling it with frequencies for a purpose. Electromagnetic field effects persist in fluids um, that are treated with PEMFs up to several days after the EMFs are removed. Now, we should be drinking water anyway, right, to survive, so let's drink magnetized water. And this concept has obviously been in the PEMF realm for a while, but it's not something that we've truly explored until the last few years. Uh, as we know, the concepts of microcurrent revolve around the introduction of different frequencies into the body through the skin that interpret the body, that interprets its own signals um, as those signals you're implanting. And to that effect, they the body and the brain creates change. So whether that be anti-inflammatory, regenerative, relaxation, whatever these concepts are, these are all things that occur from frequency signals being sent. Now, again, since water is something that's so essential, and this is something that we can just do on the on day-to-day, uh, we can take advantage of the fact that water has a form of memory. It can hold these frequencies in it and resonate with them. Water can contain the frequencies, you retain them when you drink it, and then those frequencies are dispersed throughout your cells, as, as mentioned, upwards of several days, though I do tend to recommend five days as a good benchmark, uh, and I personally just make mine fresh each day. So all of this to say that by using our PEMF tools, we can magnetize the water that we drink and enhance our cellular health. But how do we do it? So first off, you're going to either need a Qi Wave PEMF mat and the Avazia device or a Via Qi. So I have both here just to show you the differences. The uh, Via Qi is connected to my pinnacle here, though it can connect to any device. Um, so this is the Via Qi. This is the pinnacle. Now, when you're treating with the Via Qi, you want to make sure that this lip here is the area where the water actually 
is essentially being touched. So what I would do is I would be making sure to place the lip against the beer tree. So I probably put it on a table like this. Now, obviously this is not ideal because it doesn't get very tall glasses of water, though it shouldn't matter because it should, it's circulating, right? It's moving, it's not still. Now, if you're using the Chi Wave pad, then you have a little bit of an easier time. This is my large Chi Wave mat here. Now, I can place my glass of water on this mat and just have it rest there. And because it does 12 inches of penetration, it's going to get the whole glass of water. Unfortunately, I can't hold it up without risking spilling the water. Uh, but what I would do is I would increase the power to maximum on the frequency I want to put into the water. In this case, I want to use 7 to 12 hertz for its relaxation and grounding capabilities, as well as regeneration of tissues. So I'm increasing my power on my Vasia, which is plugged into the Chi Wave pad to maximum. Now, this will mean, I'll just hold it up here to show you. This will mean that while this water is sitting on this mat, as over time, the water is being treated by the PEMFs because we get 12 inches of depth from the PEMF pad. So you can put loads of water bottles on there or whatever it may be and treat them all if you want at the same time because the whole surface of that mat is getting treated. If you're using the VHE, you want to kind of just put it up against it like this, as I said, doing this because of pulsed electromagnetic fields of pulsing, you're going to get different intensities as the treatment occurs. So you're not going to be doing it justice as compared to just stimulating an area for a while. So it, there's a lot of different ways to go about doing this, a lot of different frequencies, um, because you're going to have to dial the device uh, that you're using to the program you want to run. General suggestions are blue stimulation for enhancing cellular energy. So for people that are really struggling with energy, uh, blue stimulation is great. Or 7 to 12 hertz to help ground your cells for anyone that's electrically sensitive. In theory, you can tailor this infusion to whatever you need, though. So if you're trying to deal with pain, perhaps use a program like Modulate or 350 hertz. If you're trying to regenerate bones, 7 hertz, and so on. You just run the PEMF device for about five minutes at maximum power, and then you drink the water or you store it for later. Um, now, recommended times are actually generally um, 20, 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, I just think five minutes is enough. But if you really want to follow a lot of the research and the science, um, 10 to 20 minutes is your kind of go-to there. Then you just take your water that's infused and you drink it. It's as easy as that. Now, I highly recommend to use glass to contain your water. You can get glass water bottles too. Um, or metal is the next best thing, like stainless steel thermos, for example. Um, and it's generally recommended against plastic in most cases, though I don't think this is an issue with PEMFs as much as it is a concern with chemicals leaching into the water from the plastic uh, more than anything else. So I have had clients before who have decided to take like a full, like, flat of like 24 water bottles and put it on the chi wave pad and just treat the whole thing. I've never had heard of adverse reactions, but a lot of the research tends to say glass is better. Um, and I think it's just for the reason of chemical leaching. Uh, so it's that easy to magnetize your water and to get started today. If you have a chi wave or a via chi, you are ready to go. 10 to 20 minutes later, you're going to have some frequency water to drink. My personal favorite is definitely 7 to 12 hertz. I don't think you can ever have too much alpha, especially if you live in a high-tech environment. That can really help to ground your cells. Um, so really, that's my recommendation. But again, tailor it to what you need because the frequencies are going to enter your body in the form of water, and you're going to be able to take advantage of that extra layer of healing. So thank you all for joining me, everyone. I'm Dr. Rob Van Bergen, and I hope to see you next week for another Monday 10-Minute Training. Take care.